What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell notification so you get notified when I drop videos like these. So, this is going to be a little bit different than what I've been doing. This is more of a deep do-it-yourself on how to change the instrument cluster in the 2006 Columbia. Now, this right here is what was in it. Two metal pieces on each side. Tiny ass little plastic piece with small seven gauges. Now, what you'll need is a T20 torch fit and a flathead screwdriver. All right, now let me put this down real quick. Alright, so first thing you're going to want to do is take this off. And you have two screws right here. And then you pry it on the side here. You pull this panel off. There's going to be two screws about right there. Alright, and then you notice you have a screw here, and then you want to pull this panel off, there'll be two screws here, and a screw here, alright, take those three out, and then you want to use a flat screwdriver, especially if this is the first time taking your dash apart, and this corner piece, all right here with the vent, one piece this will come out of the slide out now on here you've got four screw holes each corner take these screws out as well and what that will do will separate the metal and your display all right and then You'll want to lower your steering wheel all the way down and then just work this panel out because your middle plastic piece with your display will come out and that will that's what connects your two metal pieces one on each side and either work your panel out first or your display or you can work your the small metal panel which is this one that goes right there as you see you have this one which is that screw this is where the top right corner piece and your display is at and then that's your other one that your display is screwed into and then as you see here, these are your two screws that's going to be underneath this panel piece. And to give you an idea, this panel right here are the, the four screws that you're going to take out. I think, you know, this is five, five screws, sorry. Because these two for your display. These three are the mounting the mounting screws. And then at that point, you just work to get all of that out, and then you can put in a secondary uh, dash cluster like what I did. That's an upgraded one that's got all your gauges. All right, now. If it really starts being finicky with you because of the lip that's right there if that lip is stuck up underneath what you'll have to do is after you take yeah I'm going sideways for a second after you take this pant this corner piece off you'll have 
three screws. One there. One there. Which is actually to the right of your vent. Right where this crack is at. And then you have a screw that's right here. And this panel, this little thin strip up here, will actually come out. And then what, after you loosen this, you can actually drop this down after you get all of your dash cluster and everything out. And that makes it easier when you put the upgraded one in your dash and then you just put it up underneath the lip. I would normally show you guys but I just put the dash in there and I'm really not wanting to pull it all back out because as you see I've already cracked the plastic up top and I have a feeling that if I take it out again and if I don't need to I'm not, I'm not going to do it because chances are I'm going to crack that plastic even more thank you guys for watching and I hope I explained it well enough to where you guys can go step by step if you guys need to pause the video after each step if you have any questions comment down below and I will walk you through if you need help and you're stuck on a step Thank you for watching. Y'all have a great one.